Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee and the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, hope you're all doing well this fine Thursday morning. Uh, we had a good workout this morning. I just was not feeling very well and I kind of struggled through it, but uh, got the heart rate up, got a good sweat. Oh, and I got some good coffee. All right. Well, this morning we're going to start off in Psalm 86, and then we're going to a reading in Exodus, and then we're going to Hebrews. So, Psalm 86, verses 1 through 10. And as always, may God bless the reading of His Word. Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am godly. Save your servant who trust in you. You are my God. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for to you do I cry all the day. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to the plea for grace. In the day of my trouble, I call upon you for you answer me. There was none like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. All the nations you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Um, next, we're going to Exodus chapter 12, verses 43 through 49. And this one, this passage is entitled, The Institution of Passover. And the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, This is the statute of the Passover. No foreigner shall eat of it, but every slave that is bought for money may eat of it after you have circumcised him. No foreigner or hired worker may eat of it. It shall be eaten in one house. You shall not take any of the flesh outside the house, and you shall not break any of its bones. All the congregation of Israel shall keep it. If a stranger shall, shall sojourn with you and would keep the Passover to the Lord, let all his males be circumcised. Then he may come near and keep it. He shall be as a native of the land, but no uncircumcised person shall eat of it. There shall be one law for the native and for the stranger who sojourns among you. Interesting. All right. Hebrews uh, chapter 2, verses 5 through 9, and this passage is entitled, The Founder of Salvation. For it was not to angels that God subjected the world to come, of which we are speaking. It has been testified somewhere, What is man, that you were mindful of him, or the son of man, that you care for him? You made him for a little while lower than the angels. You have crowned him with glory and honor, putting everything in subjection under his feet. Now, in putting everything in subjection to him, he left nothing outside his control. At present, we do not yet see everything in subjection to him, but we see him who for a little while was made lower than the angels, namely Jesus, crowned with glory and honor because of the suffering of death, so that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. And this is the word of the Lord. All right, we'll go to the Pray Now app, and I'll read the prayer of the day. And it is the 22nd, and why is it not updating? Ah, here we go. All right, let us pray. Lord Jesus, our Savior and Lord, you declared that the work of bringing in a new creation was accomplished by your declaration from the cross that it is finished. Give us eyes to see the signs of the new creation in your ongoing healing of our bodies and souls through your holy sacraments, where you continue to come to us as our Creator, who is bringing in the new creation. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right, well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. And maybe if I can stop sweating, but uh, with that, be safe, be happy, be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow on Coffee and the Word. God bless.